Hi, Mark. Hello. How are you? I'm doing fine, thank you. You have a very neat uh, studio. Oh, well, I cleaned up. I cleaned <laughs> up for this. <laughs> it's normally not this neat. Okay, I was wondering. Uh, but you have a lot of work here. I do. I, I tend to... I, I pretty much have just about everything I've made. Um, so it collects. And would you like to show me what you have? Let's start with what you got over there on the wall. Sure, it's a couple drawings I've got uh, over here. Um, you have your cat. I'm trying not to step on your cat. Hello. Let's go ahead. Yeah, we'll send him out. So I've got a couple drawings. I uh, I go to a uh, portrait studio at the Nepean Visual Arts Center. And that's where a lot of kind of my like uh, portrait studies have come from. So lately I've gotten back into doing a couple drawings. So that's uh, that's one from a couple weeks this summer. And this one right here is, uh, I just started that one on uh, this Monday. And you're doing mostly portraits. I do, I tend to do a lot of portraits. I really, I really enjoy portraits a lot. And uh, the portrait studio keeps me, keeps me regularly doing portraits kind of each week. You won um, the art battle last year with a uh, self portrait. I did. Um, I really enjoyed like the art battle. So uh, last year, last year I won the art battle. This year, this year a different kind of gentleman kind of won the art battle and went to Toronto. So which was fantastic. But yeah, I, uh, last year at the art battle. Um, I, I took advantage of kind of my shadow from the from the harsh lights, mm -hmm. and uh, I started by tracing kind of my shadow, and then I I did a self portrait. People loved your portrait. Oh, thanks. It uh, I was pretty happy with it. Twenty minutes. It's uh, it's that goes by fast. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what do we have uh, on the wall? Sure. So um, all of these here are paintings that I've done. Um, since I joined the Nepean Visual Arts Center kind of a portraiture studio, um, some of them are some of them are pretty old, like uh, like three. I've only been going for three years, so the uh, the gentleman down there with his with his sword and his big kind of orange beard is uh, Mike. That's the first one I did, and then uh, you know a few of these are are much more kind of recent. Um, this one kind of here, this one's fairly recent. These are all kind of like fairly recent this year. So I've been really enjoying kind of like uh, doing portraits and I've been trying to kind of explore different ways of, of painting, mostly paint and oil. And, uh, so, um, are do are, are they doing live? Sittings or? Yeah, so they're sitting, so we tend to tend to get the model in for uh, three consecutive weeks. So you've got three weeks to to you know do your drawing and get your kind of painting going. And if you take a, a photo or two, then you've got a kind of a reference picture to kind of work on later. Um, and and some, sometimes I work on them later, and sometimes I just leave them unfinished. This is a good example of one I just kind of left unfinished. This one of Bing and. I like that her clothing isn't kind of like filled in and you know, the, the focus is on kind of her and her features. And I see a few uh, sketches over there, nudes. You do nudes too? Yeah, I, I really enjoy life drawing. Can you show us? Yeah, so it's uh, this year I started uh, shifting away from doing a lot of my life drawing in charcoal and I started using uh, pen and ink. So I've got kind of like a pen and uh, then I do some ink washes. So I've really been enjoying that and I like I like that the pen is kind of imperfect, you know, and then all the lines kind of stay and sometimes I get a blob of ink and I kind of like those things. Uh, compared to the portraits, how do you find these ones? Uh, well, these are much, much quicker, so I find they're very kind of fluid. So I just kind of... Uh, I just kind of go kind of relatively quickly, like none of them are, are more than maybe like 40 minutes. And it's, it's a good opportunity to, to experiment a bit more. 
coming. That one I just did with some washes. There's some more. So I got lots. Yes. I've kind of been playing around and experimenting yeah. and trying to trying to try new things. This, so this gentleman, is I think it's it's a well known. He's a well known model. In yeah, America. that's Gustavo. Yeah, I've seen him in many uh, uh, sketches. Let's play around with that one. So I got into kind of using this kind of orange and blue quite a bit. Enjoy that. And um, you're also working on a project. Yeah, I've got a couple different kind of projects is going. This one here? Yeah, so this one, this one here is a project I call uh, social portraits. So. Um, How are they I, different from the other ones? Well, these these are all uh, these are all created from people's social media profile pictures. So I, I put a call out for people to say, hey, yes, I would like to be you know a part of this project, and Mark, you can have permission to kind of paint my my kind of profile picture. Um, so I've been kind of collecting a list of, of people that have agreed to that and uh, slowly but surely kind of painting. I've done 10 so far and I want to do I want to do quite a few. I want to do a lot and then have a show and and bring all these kind of people together because right now the the initial the, the state the project is in right now is it's all virtual so I do these paintings and then I kind of post them up on Facebook and Twitter and and a Tumblr site that I set up for it you know and people comment and share and change their their own profile picture to be to be the the painted version um, but eventually I want to get everybody together and they can see the real thing and, and kind of change all those all those virtual kind of conversations and and relationships to to go on kind of ones that are kind of in person so I'm looking forward to that so uh, when do you um, hope to have the show Next I think year? it'll be in 2015 because I've been really sidetracked the last couple months working on uh, my Nuit Blanche project and uh, and just some some of my kind of other work and in summer things always slow down a little bit in the summer but uh, I plan to get back onto this project in October I uh, really enjoy it I actually painted this one here, this gentleman, um, at uh, the the studio cafe. They had a Hintonburg happening after party event, and uh, I brought my iPad and brought up his picture and did my kind of social portrait during the party, and I really enjoyed that. And what about the other project? So I've got a Nuit Blanche project going. Um, it's called The List, mm -hmm. and with that project I'm gonna have uh, it's kinda of like an installation I'm gonna be I'm gonna be in a tent I'm gonna have two tents and uh, this first tent is gonna kinda of have a line that you've gotta kind of come in it's gonna have a bouncer and uh, you kind of you come into my tent and sit down in a chair and I'm gonna create kind of like a really fast abstracted kind of like portrait it's probably not even gonna look like a portrait at all just a, a smattering of paint on these discs and I actually have some of them here so I'm going to be painting on kind of discs like these and I'm kind of pre-painting different colors and uh, so once once I finish the painting then you know I can kind of like add that person you know to the list and in the second tent I'm going to have kind of a hanging structure and just lots and lots of these kind of hanging up and that list will kind of like build over the course of the night. And how many minutes does everyone get? I'm just I'm gonna aim, you know, for like, you know, two to three to four minutes maximum. So I can get through kind of as many people as I can. Where will be this? It'll be at uh George and William Street in the Byward Market. So I got a, a nice spot, so I'm uh I'm really looking forward to it. I've been having a lot of fun with this project. I've been laser cutting all of these all of these kind of like discs. I've been making my own tools because I figured it's like 10 hours of painting like the paintbrushes are just gonna just gonna die so I'm making my own little tools and then those will keep me from getting you know too caught up in the details you know just be scraping some paint on and smearing it on. I've got some glitter that I'm gonna throw on them so I'm gonna have lots of fun and I will try to draw by and uh, perhaps we can do a short uh, video from... Uh, oh, that'd be fantastic, yeah. I will be there. Thank you so much.
Just kind of let me know as I'm kind of painting. Oh, like going up the Eiffel Tower type thing. Exactly. Yeah, if you could skip the line to the Eiffel Tower, which is usually pretty long. All right. Ooh, it's All right. So I've been I've been mapping colors to people, or I could just do my own thing. Do you have a do your own thing? Do my own thing. All right. I can already start doing. It. All right, I think I got it here. Right? I'm not going to put any more on it. Wow! That is your Yahoo! family <laughs> portraits, you know, of your inner VIP. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice and you were, night. Have a nice night. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, I've got some pins there, so you can have a pin. Let everybody know, hey, I'm on the list, and there's some chocolates, and and my business cards in there too. Like, uh... <laughs> thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Enjoy your night. Thank you. Thank you. Smart. Yep. I have to go. Yep. What we're doing, okay, for a couple minutes, for a few minutes, let them dry, and then they'll hang up better. Okay, okay, sounds great. They're still gonna drip. Yeah, well, dripping's okay, it's, uh, but it limits the drippingness, which is what I was hoping to do with a little bit of staging. Yeah. Yeah. Looking cool, eh? Yeah, yeah, it looks very cool. <laughs> You're heading out. Yeah, I'm gonna try to sneak in next after that. Oh yeah, yeah, you gotta, I gotta get you in, and then uh, I'll bid you do. Right on. Oh, I just wrote 18 on the last one. Can you make that a 19? I wrote 18 on. Trying to think of what color to start with here. Okay. Is this one's going to be 18? Change it to 19. 19 new. All right. So as I kind of get started, uh, let me know if you could skip along. Why would it be? That's it. Just right. a curious question to start a conversation. What's that? Oh, yeah. Next. And I'm a very patient person, so I don't mind not skipping. Oh, that's okay too. So I don't know what to answer. Wait. That's okay. That's that's an answer. It got us talking, right? Which is great. That's all. That's all I'm going after. Okay, no worries. We're good to talk. So, what inspired you? Why did you take your inspiration? Uh, well, I wanted to do something completely different okay. for myself. And, uh, I mean, I don't normally paint like this. This is all an exploration for me. Okay. Yeah, and I, I really like, I like, I like painting in, out socially. So I thought it would be a lot of fun to do that for Nuit Blanche. Paint all night. It's a great way to spend the night. Pardon me? You're here until three o'clock? Yeah, well, I'm here till three or four, yeah. I guess <laughs> until they kick me out.
I made some of my own tools. Just like, again, this kind of exploring that. <laughs> so what are your favorite things? You know, uh, what did you see? Oh, well, I, I'm just kind of reacting to kind of like colors and contours and... Uh, and and it, in some ways, just kind of letting my my arm and the paint kind of do a bit of the work. But to be honest, I, I'm really just I'm kind of figuring it out as I go. Like, it's so new for me. I am. They're right beside you are some business cards, and they've got some of my paintings on them. Here's what I've captured for, for both of you. <laughs> You're talking. I know, but let's wait until we get enough. Hi, Mark. Hello. What a busy night. It's a very busy night, yeah. So you have one portrait for the show. I do, yes. I've got this, this portrait here. This is a portrait of Dan, and uh, it's uh, it's been painted from life, and uh, painted in oils. Is Dan here? Uh, I haven't seen him here. I sent him like a last minute email to let him know, hey, by the way, uh, the painting I did of you is in this show. It's different from the other ones that I've seen. Because it's just the side. Yeah, it's just a profile, this one. Um, yeah, I, I tend to kind of explore kind of different angles to, to work from. So this one was, uh, was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed the profile. I forgot to ask you the last time, uh, what do you like about portraits? I, I think they're, they're, they're like a, a journey and a sense of discovery. The more you're, the more you're working on it, the more you're kind of like looking at the, the model, the subject's kind of like face, you're, you're just seeing more and more and continuing to kind of refine what you're working on. I think I like that exploration. It's like, a, you know, you're, you're discovering kind of like, you know, new things kind of all the time. I really enjoy that. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you.